Okay, so what do we got? We've got Wimbrule, Eastern Curlew, Bar-tailed Godwit, Great Knot, Redneck Stint, Curlew Sandpiper, Pied Oyster Catcher, Sooty Oyster Catcher, Black Wing Stilt, Red Cape Plover, Double Barred Plover. Well, I'm either doing birds today or I've just read out the cast of the new Marvel movies. Today I'm heading out with my Nikon D850 to Bribie Island here in Queensland, Australia in the hope of capturing some shoreline birds. There are so many varieties of bird here on offer. I'm really hoping to capture some as they stroll along the beachfront feeding or just going about their business. I absolutely love what the local council here on Broby Island have done with this area. They've put two purpose-built hides so photographers can come along or viewers of birds with their binoculars can come along and use these. They've got these different slots at different heights for people to be able to put their cameras or binoculars out just to enjoy all the beautiful shoreline birds. Absolutely fantastic. What I'm doing now is I've just come out of one of the bird hides just down on the southern end and what I'm doing is I've noticed just along here there were some nesting birds and I think the mate was bringing food back to the bird that was sitting on the nest so I'm just going to try and get a couple of shots of that for you. This is a black wing stilt and they feed mainly on aquatic insects, but will also take mollusks and crustaceans. Just gonna try and get a little bit closer. They certainly put those long legs to good use while wading through the water for their food. This little guy over here, he's having a good old feed right along the shoreline. I've got this perfect position right here between me and the lagoon. Absolutely beautiful. This is so fantastic what they've done here, where they've created this nice little island for these shoreline birds. So you can't get over to where they're nesting. They've put like a little lagoon down here but you've still got access to be able to photograph them. So this is a really good spot. If you ever do want to come up here, if you're a local and you want to come up and get some really beautiful shoreline birds, great spot for photography. Even walking along the trail between the two hides, I was blessed to see so many birds. Some were feeding naturally in the trees for their food, but I did manage to capture these very young ones who had made their way into someone's backyard looking for food. I've got this little fella here who's just underneath these bushes here. I'm so close I could literally reach out and touch him. Keeps moving. I've just got this little guy that I found underneath here. But he keeps moving. I'm trying to get a shot. I'm trying to get some overlay. He is absolutely beautiful. He's got so many different colours. The camouflage is just so amazing on this guy. He actually really blends in so beautifully with this foliage. I've lost him being this far away because he blends in with these like I guess they're like a banksia. Mm -hmm. 
As I made my way closer to the shoreline, I discovered more varieties of birds, including this eastern curlew, who was feeding on the incoming tide. If you're wondering why this guy's bill is shaped the way it is, and it's so long, yep, perfect for getting down into those sand holes for a delicious meal. I'm just now up at the second hide and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Chris who told me about this place. Chris was the one that uh, lent me his Nikon Z6 II to review a couple of months back. And while we were talking, Chris said, hey, have you seen these hides up at Bribe Island? And I said, no, so thank you, Chris. I think I'll be returning to this spot for more bird photography in the future. I mean, just not for the birds. But when you have views like this, and it's all within such a fantastic setting, it's a perfect spot to unwind and just relax while you take in all nature has to offer. I love the fact they've got that island over in the middle there, just so those birds like this little guy over here can nest. This is such a fantastic spot for bird photography. Thanks very much, Chris, for recommending it. And I definitely recommend it for locals to come here and get some photography done, or you just want to come and check out the birds with your binoculars. As I always say, never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.